Welcome back. I'm here with a 2022 Mini Cooper SE about to do the Inside EV's 70 mile an hour highway range test. We plugged her into a 150 kilowatt Electrify America DC fast charger as we always do before we do these range tests to charge it up to 100%, get the battery nice and warm so we get good performance as far as the range goes. Now in 2022, Mini upped the EPA range rating just a little bit. These guys used to be EPA range rated at 110 miles per charge. For 2022, they're rated at 114 miles per charge. We don't think that that happened by making a bigger battery or different chemistry or anything like that. I think it was just optimizing the BMS system, powertrain efficiency and so forth, just tweaked it a little bit and it eked out four more miles. Now the highway EPA range rating for this guy is 103.6 miles. We always like to mention that because this is a highway range rating. We don't expect to reach the combined EPA range rating, but it's nice for us to be able to have a goal and that's the highway range rating. So we're hoping today to get somewhere around 103 miles on our constant 70 mile an hour highway range test. Now this vehicle is equipped with the 17 inch tentacle wheels and 205, 45, 17 uh, hand cook tires. So that makes a difference. There's different tire and wheel packages available for vehicles and what tire and wheels you have on the car can impact the range. So we always like to note exactly what tires and wheels are being used. I'm going to hop in this car now, head out on the turnpike, drive in loops up and down the turnpike until it won't go any further. We'll see how far she goes. Once I get in the car, we're going to talk a little bit about how we set the vehicles up for these highway range tests. But for now, please don't forget, click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content here on the Inside EVs YouTube channel. Okay, so I'm out here on the turnpike cruising along at 70 miles an hour. Let's go over some of the things that we do on all of the Inside EV 70 mile an hour highway range tests to make sure that they're all fair. First of all, we always set the tires to the manufacturer's suggested tire pressure. I did that this morning when the vehicle was cold. We then take them to DC fast chargers, DC fast charge them up to 100% to make sure the battery's fully charged that the battery is warm because the, it warms up during the DC fast charging process. And also by taking it to a DC fast charger right on the highway, we can then just hop right on the highway after we finish charging. If I were to leave my house, it would be, you know, 10 miles or so before I got on the highway. We pick DC fast chargers right on the highway so we could pull out of the parking lot and begin our journey. So I'm on the turnpike now, cruising along, as I mentioned, at 70 miles an hour. However, another one of the things we do is we always check the speedometers to GPS. And in the case of the Mini Cooper SE, as with all BMW products, the speedometer is always fast. So at 70 miles an hour, I was really re reading 68 miles an hour. So I actually have the cruise control here set at 72 miles an hour, and that's showing a constant 70 miles an hour on my GPS apps. Uh, we also make sure that there isn't a lot of wind. I mean, there's not much we can do if there is, but we at least note it. Today, there's about a four mile an hour tailwind at this point. Uh, when I turn around, it'll be a headwind. And that's another thing we always do. We do loop style range tests where we'll pick a course and drive, you know, 50, 60, maybe 100 miles in one direction. I won't be doing that with the Mini Cooper SE. <laughs> I picked our route that's about 45 mile circle. So we drive, turn around, and then come back up and hopefully start and finish at the same Electrify America charging station. Sometimes we don't do that. We have to pull off earlier to another one. We'll see if I can start and finish at the same one or if I need to pull off at another one along the route if the car won't make it. Um, okay, so we got wind, tire pressure, um, driving modes. We have this selected in Eco, which is the, actually in the Mini Cooper SE, it's green, uh, which is the most eco driving mode that you can have and still have heating and air conditioning. We, we won't use a driving mode that shuts off the heating and air conditioning. We don't think most people would accept that when they're driving and, and we're not gonna accept it when we're doing range tests. So we always have it in, in, in the most um, economical driving mode that will allow heating and air conditioning. And we always put the heating and air conditioning on. 68 degrees with fan level one, and if it becomes uncomfortable, we'll turn the fan up. Fan level one's been fine for me here today. I have the vehicle set at 68 degrees 
and fan level one seems to be fine. Now, as far as temperature wise, we have a crazy, unusually warm day here today. It's mid-February and it's 66 degrees. Just two days ago, it was under 10 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm sure if I would have done the test then, there would be different results. We wouldn't have gone as far as we're gonna to go today. This is really great range weather. It's not perfect range weather. I'd like to see it up maybe in the mid 70s to 80s, and that's really perfect range weather. But 65 in New Jersey in February is as good as we're going to be able to get. Uh, so I think I have all the, the ground rules covered on what we do with all of these range tests. I'm gonna check in uh, when the state of charge is at 75%, and we'll talk about how far I went in the first quarter of this range test. Well, that was quick. <laughs> the Mini Cooper SE doesn't have really long driving range and I got down to 75% in what seemed to be about 20 minutes. Uh, you know, only a few weeks ago, I did the Lucid Air 70 mile an hour highway range test and it took me like almost two hours to get to 75% state of charge. And here we did it in like 15 to 20 minutes, but they're very different vehicles for different purposes and at really different price points. You could have probably six Mini Cooper SEs for what it costs to buy a Lucid Air Dream Edition and have enough money left over to buy yourself electricity for a few years. In any event, we're at 75% state of charge. We covered 26.7 miles and our efficiency is 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour. So we're coming in right at that highway EPA range rating if we were to keep duplicating this on uh, all four legs of the trip, which rarely ever happens. And as I mentioned, we did have a little bit of a tailwind right now. I think the second half of this trip might be a little different because that wind is gonna be blowing at us and could knock down a couple of miles. I'm going to check back in when we're at 50% and we'll see how far we've gone. All right, we're at 50% state of charge. We didn't do quite as good as the first quarter. We ended up with a consumption rate now of 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour. It was 3.3 before, so we're a little bit less efficient and we are at 50.2 miles driven. We're still on pace for 100 miles, but I don't know, uh, I know we're gonna be turning around now and I know we're gonna be facing a little bit more of a challenging wind. It's gonna be a headwind now, so we might not hit triple digits and I'll be a little disappointed about that. I want this guy to go uh, at least 100 miles, but listen, we'll see. Maybe we'll have a better idea of how far we're gonna get when I check in at 25% state of charge, which is our next check-in in about 20 minutes. <laughs> I, I tell you, I drove 100 mile electric vehicles for years. My first electric vehicle was a Mini E, the all electric Mini Cooper. I was in a pilot program with BMW and I love this guy. I love little electric cars. Um, I, I just prefer driving small little hatchbacks than big cars. And the Cooper SE is such a fun car to drive. It, it is range challenged, but you know, it, it serves a purpose for what it does. People that don't need to really drive far. I lived with 100 mile EVs for, you know, seven or eight years, just fine. And I made it work. Now we did always have a second car in the garage when I needed to go on really long trips, but this guy's just so much fun to drive and it brings back memories of my original Mini E. And uh, interesting enough, that car that was built in 2008 went as far as this car does. Both of them went about 100 miles per charge. So, you know, the, the Mini Electric didn't really go very far as far as range. Um, they did make a lot of improvements with thermal management. There's a back seat. Uh, my Mini E didn't have a back seat. It was just a giant battery block in the back because um, it was all retrofitted. And this has a lot of creature comforts that that didn't have. It's a much better all around vehicle. Um, but you know, it's, it's a little disappointing that Mini went just 10 years or 12 years and didn't improve upon the range at all. But what you do get is good value. Uh, this car starts at under $30,000 and with the federal tax credit, and here in New Jersey, we get a $5,000 cash on the hood rebate for electric vehicles under $45,000 and no sales tax. I could drive home with one of these and my net cost will be $18,000 for a brand new <laughs> Mini Cooper SE if I qualify for the full $7,500 federal tax credit, which I would. Uh, so that's the compromise you make. You don't get tremendous range, but it is a pretty affordable little runaround if you can live with the 100 mile range. All right, well, we're gonna check back in at 25% state of charge. We'll see where we're at. 
All right, we're at 25% state of charge. We are averaging 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour, and we have covered a total of 73 miles. So in that quarter of the range test, we only went 23 miles. We went 26 miles in the first quarter, 24 miles in the second quarter, 23 miles in the third quarter. So um, I hope we go more than 21 or 22 miles because we won't make the charging station if we don't. Uh, I have this plotted out where we'll be arriving there right around 100 miles, maybe a little bit under 100 miles. So we've got to get close to that or uh, I might be calling a tow truck today. Uh, I, I, I'm a little disappointed. I really thought we were going to get uh, 100 miles here today, especially because the weather is very favorable. Uh, we're hovering right around 66 degrees now, uh, which is pretty good range weather. But uh, yeah, this little guy has a 28.9 kilowatt hour battery pack. So almost pretty much you could say 29 kilowatt hour. The gross capacity is 32.6. The usable capacity is 28.9. Uh, I would think with the 29 kilowatt hour battery pack and this good weather, this tiny little car, they're usually pretty efficient. I should be able to squeeze out 100 miles, but that might not happen here today. Um, we'll see. I'll, I'll check back in either at the Electrify America charging station or on the side of the road if we don't make it. Unfortunately, the path that I've taken now on this loop, there's no place for me to stop and charge earlier. Um, so if I can't make it, I can't make it. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll check back in when the battery is at 0% state of charge and I'm either waiting for a tow truck or plugging in and charging up. Well, we did make it and we made it easily. We ended up with 103 miles driven, the same as the EPA highway range rating for the Mini Cooper SE. It just kept going and going there at the end. And that last quarter was the most efficient quarter that we had driven. We ended up with a consumption rate of 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour. Really surprising. We covered 30 miles of range in that last quarter. Now I did pull off the highway after 98 miles driven and we were at 3% state of charge because that's when I arrive here at the Electrify America charging station. If I go past to the next exit, I'd never make it back. But there is a highway right off of the turnpike and I'm able to drive on that highway somewhere between 50 and 55 miles an hour. So I drove those last uh, five miles at about 55 miles an hour. And I know you might be thinking, well, that's why the consumption rate went up, but that's not the case. When I got off the highway after 98 miles, it was already at 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour. I don't know what happened in that last quarter. It was more efficient. Maybe the wind changed. I really didn't check my wind app and it was pushing me and got stronger. But uh, in any event, we finished up with 103 miles, pretty good, right on the nose of the EPA highway range rating, which you know was kind of the goal that I was setting. I wanted to get into triple digits. I didn't want to end this test at like 97 or 98 miles. That would have been so disappointing. So the 2022 Mini Cooper SE finishes up the inside EVs 70 mile an hour highway range test with 103 miles driven right on the nose with its EPA highway range rating. If you like what we're doing here on the Inside EVs YouTube channel, please give us a like, click that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, all that good stuff, so you don't miss any upcoming electric vehicle content. And thanks for watching.